little chit chat through this game. I feel like I've not had a narration moment for a while. Right, let's just see how we get on. So we're bringing the knight out. Maybe looking, getting the bishop out nice and steady. Oh, we've got time to bring the bishop out then. As soon as they've done a close down knight move. Just get this nice steady away, basic stuff. That might work for us. See how that goes. Yep, yeah, that gives us time to follow the mini process. Yep, let's bring it out. But I think the knight's probably going to jump in here. Yes, it does. So we're going to just bring our knight up. So everybody's having a party in the centre here. You have to bear in mind why it started first. So they're up a tempo, but their piece is down in terms of development. Well, proper development of their pieces. So that's a positive plus for us. It might not feel like it. But we've got our knight centralised, smaller piece attack and a higher piece can't be wrong. So they're trying to grab that tempo back to try and get castled. But again, they've lost that tempo because we can castle first. And they're sacrificing a piece, coming for the bishop here. So when their bishop comes here, we can't kingside castle. So he's actually taken. And he's coming for the rook. So that's greedy munching bishop. And we, we know about greedy munching pieces it doesn't really give them a good position on the board so there's a lot of things that actually happened in the short space of time the opponents lost tempo in terms of developing pieces so then they've rushed to try and win that tempo back but their position on the board isn't as concrete as it should be as plain as white hope i've explained myself a little bit there Right, so let's just go for the knight here. As you can see, the queen has not got out of its stalls yet. They need to go and castle or get the king safe. So those momentary tempos with them going greedy munching does lose them important tempo. So now we've just got to jostle our pieces, work them together as best possible. Hopefully maybe putting some pressure. Oh, he's actually castled going to take the knight off the board because we can reduce down because we do have more pieces than the opponent they have less pieces which on paper are stronger but this isn't a paper exercise this is the real deal right so let's get the knight here looking to come here this pawn's probably going to drop Yep, so the pawn does drop. I'm going to bring the queen up now. Get it into the game. Just bear in mind the bishop's got a nice position here. He's not going to like that. So this is probably going to drop to get rid of the bishop. Try and trap it somehow. Okay, so we've got a nice little set of manoeuvres that we can go. I'm going to just bring the rook here facing the pawn. Obviously he's got two pieces attacking it, but that means he's kind of babysitting it. So he could probably envisage that it pushes it down or this rook comes here so that he's babysitting it even more. Yep, so he's coming for the bishop. So we could come here, but then obviously the bishop would get trapped because it come here. Obviously we come back. We do have this pawn that's going to protect. So we could preempt. So open up space towards his king area. Can we do anything about that? Queen could attack, but the queen is protecting. Do we get the knight across? Because it's not doing anything at the moment. Or do we push this pawn just to make it look like we're doing something? I want to make my knight active and probably swing it across. So I'm going to bring the knight down <coughs> whilst they're attacking our bishop. Bring this back. So we've got plenty of time it's 20 minutes and five seconds so he's not actually doing that so it gives us time to move the knight here i mean it's looking touch here but i think basically it's just going to go for blocking everything down now yeah it's just blocking everything down so 
at the end of the day we can still squeeze into um, spaces we can come here but I don't really want to trade maybe we'll have to see I'm sure they would trade down probably because they've got the rooks but we've got two flexible pieces so let's eye this up do we push the pawn I'm gonna if we push the pawn he pushes down his queen gets the pawn let's say push down he pushes here then he's on our pawn is there anything else this is the moment of truth now it could come here to attack here if we move the queen across attacking the pawn then we could do that but then this pawn is going to come down and it's going to have both of our knight and the bishop so we can't do that there's that comes there knight comes up no that doesn't work fair enough so there's no point bringing this here because it's going to get the bishop so we could move the bishop first does have all this action as well but yeah let's move the bishop first it's doing a nice job blocking the pawn but it's also interrupting any potential action that we might look to do yeah it's doing that straight away blocking that off wants to come here this can take so has he created any weaknesses let's attack the pawn anyway even though the queen's defending sorry the queen's defending slide here but the queen's defending at the moment maybe I'm trying to give my king some company really but probably envisage this one dropping so then we can attack here it's got poor majority on this side so you'd think that the rooks would be doubling up you know somehow supporting the pawns because that's their power base is the rooks so once they double up then they're set on that train so we need to find out which rook is going to go up is it this one is he coming across is he thinking of weaving his queen down to here maybe not yet because our queen is there their king is home alone and i really want to take advantage of it got a nice cluster of pawns don't really have to move any of these our king's got company could look to just start blasting stuff open okay so they've gone for a deep think I'm not doing any more thinking now I have to just react to what they're doing Rooks don't have any place in the centre of the board goes our mantra and that is so deep in the centre of the board it's unreal it's just stopping us from actually attacking here so now the Queen's just going to go and start playing <coughs> so deep in there it's unreal let's just bring the Knight across and attack is it getting even deeper that's trapping it isn't it so it's going to have to go back does that open up this maybe attacking this pawn it doesn't have to take they can just push past if it was a speedy game I would have just thrown that up and <laughs> hope for the best boom um, but then it just pushed past and then my bishop is definitely just trapped in this little well it's not trapped because it can come back could bring the knight round again but this time he wins the tempo but then we can jump and then we're attacking the, the pawn twice so I'm going to bring the knight back around again see if the trick works you know we like to do those sort of tricks psychological things Oh, a small pawn, I'm going to attack a piece, but no. Let's grab this pawn. 
beyond their rook, beyond the pawn. <coughs> but obviously he's not falling for them apples, he knows the situation. There's no point doing that because then he can drop and then my knight can't jump to this square. Yeah, so that's what's going to happen there. Do, do, do. Let me see, let me see. Small push. Going for a tiny push, see what happens. So this gives them the opportunity to double up the rooks like we mentioned earlier. Because at the minute they're not using the rooks to the full extent, which I'm happy for. But like I said, they've got poor majority on this side, so you'd think they'd start really sort of ramping these down. If they can't think of anything, just pushing this or small piece or just being in a room. okay so he's looking to close this down he's, I don't really want to do that one because obviously it's just going to be a simple case of that do, 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 do. so we could move the knight back again and there. so his pawns are just doing blocking things at the minute so it's going to be, it's going to have to be, I think it's got to be the queen doing something. Come back. It's nothing major, is it? It comes there. Bring the bishop back a bit more. Because he's going to it's going to get hit here let's just bring the bishop back sometimes when you see the inching pawns coming down they end up losing out because nothing's supporting them head of the snake gets taken so we've taken our bishop back so maybe the center pawn can get involved if we bring our over overnight there then it's just pawns meeting pawns then so I can fit I think this is dropping next so then I think we probably don't have to but just bring this knight here then at least we've got pawns meeting pawns I mean it could be brave and just do that I mean I lose a pawn don't I Fact, that's probably what is going to happen you know this pawn is coming down I don't have to take well I could take and he just takes back or he takes back with that there so it's a pawn for a pawn in a sense but I think he'll take with this one but if he does take with that one the Queen does have access for a check on the King so probably not that one so this is coming down if we take then this one takes but then if that happens the knight can jump here and attack the pawn so the long ways but i believe this is the next move when really it sh probably should be the shifting down here i don't want them to i think that's probably the yeah oh exact move <laughs> let's see how if it works out that way I don't think they're taking with this pawn they're taking with this one there's space for the knight to jump and attack here the king can, can't come to defend because the knight is protecting that square and as we said if he takes with this one then we get a check on the king don't know how much that means though really because he just drops here doesn't he <laughs> just drops there and His pawn is still on my knight and his rook is going to be on our queen. And then I don't have another check. Oh, I'll lose out. I'll lose out. 
Oh, yes, yes. Oh, he's gone with that way. He's gone that way. <coughs> I was just working out that he's probably better off doing it that way because he'd be a pawn up. I'm, we'll have to look at that. <coughs> oh, he's blocked it. He's gone back down and blocked it. Let's just attack the rook again with a smaller piece. Pawn's obviously going to take, but that's uh, it's a bit of an issue for us because his rook will come and put a check on our king if we take with the pawn. Um, don't think we want to be taken with the knight, really. Oh dear. See, if we take there, his rook comes shooting across here with a check. We bring the king across. Oh no, he's on my knight with the rook. It's on my knight with the rook. So I'm gonna have to take with the knight. So it's created a bit of hassle has this situation. Rook in the centre of the board, he's it's obviously got a plan set, hasn't he? Rook coming across here. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Move the king. Give time for the rook to come across here. It's obviously all, um, what's the word, distraction work because these pawns are going to be coming down. We don't have anything else then. The rook is over here supporting. So I'm going to move the king. Yeah, it's gone for the double. Could push the pawn. Save any shenanigans. No checks on this king whatsoever. We do have, but we get taken. Surreal. Uh, oh, I don't want to babysit the pawn with the rook. Okay, let's bring it across. This is where the fun starts happening, isn't it? Boom, boom, boom. It's Queen's babysitting this pawn though. But it's not that important really in the grand scheme of things. Bishop needs to be in the game. It's not, well, it's doing a job, but there's nothing there is there probably feels better a bit yeah what oh, that was exact pawn wasn't it i think yeah that's where the fun's going to start happening so if i move the bishop here then i can attack his um rook with my knight Oh, it feels like absolute ages I've done a narrate, well, a deep thinking narration type thing. So the using the power base of the rooks, you know, facing towards our king area, um, but they've come to an area where the king has got company, as far as I can see. I'm not saying it's not going to work, but um, the probably would have been better i think like i said before you know pushing down here and supporting this side of things but it's not saying i'm winning at all because i don't think i am um i just feel a lot comfier the pawn's just pushing let's just attack this um rook like we said we have a little rhinoceros head here to stop that sort of action i mean he could start pushing this down he's gonna have two pawns there are they too late to the party? That is the big question. 
Queen's babysitting this poem when really, you know, at the end of the day, at some point maybe they're going to look to come here to attack the pawn with the queen. But we're giving them something to think about in the moment. It can simply just move back. They're still going to maintain that pressure. So now we can push the pawn up supported by the bishop then. So the bishop can stay there now and then get the knight back in the game somehow. Get to the other side of the board. Okay, so let's move the knight. The space here now for them to start doubling. So if they forget themselves, let's take here. And it might be that they come round the back. You know, once they've doubled, you have to come back a bit. Doubled. Look to hit. Rook comes up, then they come round the back. So they're going to have a force around the back. So I can see that pattern quite nicely. So that's probably what they're going to kind of work on. What do I have? Nothing. I'm defending at the minute. Night, night. Right, again. Totally defending throughout all of this game. Do do do. The queen comes here. Rook's gonna beat us to it, isn't it? It's gonna get there first. Yeah, looking to come round here, could come round the back. So I'm going to come here, attack the pawn. It's obviously going to push down to protect itself. Oh, I might just come with the rook thing first, but we we saw all of this. So touch the king, move up, then he comes down the back. So he's looking to attack around the back here. Oops. really know what the delay is because that's pretty oh it's preventing okay fair enough that's what we said so knight coming here it's got space to jump here maybe i don't know what havoc it's looking to cause but it's uh, attacking the queen this pawn's no longer under threat comes down goes down so we can go up and down with the rook if we wanted to just defending that area so there so this is like two moves one to come here yep yeah, just block it off So they could go for a draw. Uh, again, I'm not adverse to going for any draws here. Looks like they are. Yeah, draw.